uh, where do you, uh, <laughs> where, where do I go from there? Uh, well, obviously, slow start. Dang, 0 for 15. Uh, I'm going to attribute, I don't know for sure, but I'm going to attribute it just a lineup change. We don't have a rhythm in our offense early. Got better as the game went along. And uh, we, I think second half we were 6 of 11. Uh, so I, I think it's going to get better and better. We've got more shooters on the floor. And as they get used to the minutes they play and the kind of the rhythm of the rotation they're coming in, they'll get better at it. Uh, we didn't get hurt on the boards. Uh, our athleticism showed. And I uh, thought we doubled in the post some. We did a little bit different. I used to always orchestrate a double. I just kind of let them do it on their own and told them to scramble and play like hell out of it. And uh, you know what? They did They did a pretty nice job. Great win. I do want to say this right up front. Crowd was unbelievable. Band was great. Boy, they were cheering and screaming. You could hear. We had a good student, a little, little student section. We need to triple size that. But they were loud and boisterous. And the green glow sticks, you know, it makes it fun for a guy at 74. I still get excited. So you got to be pretty damn good to do that. And they were pretty good. Hey, Dan, after the way that the game ended at Akron, how cool tonight that Andy's the one that makes that shot at the end that puts you guys over the hump? Well, you know, five points in either swing, we would be four and four or seven and one. <laughs> you know, and So uh, we, we got a good ball club. Uh, we're going to be, as we go through this down the, down the stretch, we're going to be good. We're going to be competitive in the uh, Conference USA. You got a chance to win, but again, I, let, me, let me tell you how to be a fan. Go down there, quit picking everything apart, enjoy the game, root for your team. If you lose, you come back, you root again. If you win, you celebrate. And that's, you know what? That's what makes college sports fun. That's what makes this entertaining and fun. And that's what Mike will make Marshall, whether it be basketball, soccer, football, women's sports, women's basketball. All of tennis, I, I don't care. If that's the way we are, Marsha's going to move forward. And I hope all the fans will get on board and be a fan, not a critic. Coach, Darius George got a little bit banged up in, at the end of the game. Have you talked to the trainers and uh, what's his status? Who, George? Yes. Well, he's 20, what, 22? And you don't get hurt when you're 22. He'll be fine. I think, I think it's more just land on the ball and uh, it knocks the wind out of you. I, I hope he's okay, and I, I don't want to make light of it because if he's not okay, I'll feel like crap. But uh, you know what? He's, he's young. Those, those guys, he's strong and resilient. Uh, I haven't checked with him, obviously. Didn't have a chance. Nobody's come up and said anything to me. So we got the day off tomorrow. He should be ready to go. Coach, like you said, I mean, these guys, you know, they, they struggled early to shoot, but it seemed like once Obina was able to hit one, the, it started rolling. Is that something that you've told the team pretty often is just keep shooting them? And, and uh, well, you know, that's what we do. I definitely tell them they have to keep shooting. So if they start turning them down, you're never going to make it. And I, I always tell them when we're shoot, doing shooting drills, team hot. You got to get team hot. And what I mean by that is one goes down, then the next one, next, you'll start seeing them. And they get team hot, and uh, that's what you're talking about. And uh, Andy hit a big shot coming down off uh, off of double screen. We've been running that little double in the middle, and Tavion getting up. So then we had Tavion start like he was, then dribble it, uh, Andy. Andy come off the double screen. He hit a nice little jump shot, but that's what Andy does. He's like ninth best in the country last year, percentage shooter off the dribble. So. You know, I went with uh, went with old uh, stat guys and put the right guy that's had the biggest percentage, and, and he came through. I'm proud of him. Not to be it. lost, not huh? to be lost in translation, but the block at the end too. I mean, you all hit the three, and this place you know, was Marco's going kind of longer nuts. than you think. Now he got it cold as the guy blew by. But he did, he did reach up. He got long arms. He tipped that thing right at the end. And Obina was over there to help. So, uh, you know, again, uh, as this lineup solidifies a little bit, you know, we were young, if you look, because right there at the end, you're talking without George in there, 
talking freshman, freshman, and Andy is a sophomore, you know, really. That's what they classify them all now, sophomore. Obina's a sophomore. Chase was a freshman. So we we were young. David is a freshman. And we're young, but uh, they fought. You know, we had been down, we might have been down 25 or 30 points. We're down at seven, and we're over 15 in the first half from threes. Normally, we'd be down 20, 25 points. But uh, these guys fall. If you can't enjoy watching these guys play, then you don't enjoy basketball because they gave you their heart. And that's all you can ask for. That it? All right.